Need to pull out your trusty umbrella for tomorrow, Peter. Yeah, I haven't used that for a while, have we? <laughs> and you're going to want to dust it off because you'll need it pretty much all day tomorrow. So okay, there you go. We're going to have to deal with a little bit of rain and snow. We'll get to it in a second. Let's look at today's almanac, though. 17 degrees was our daytime high. 13 is normal at this time of year. So we exceeded that for once this week. I hope you're able to get out and enjoy it. If not, you can get out this evening to enjoy it because it'll be mild for the next few hours as we are seeing the sunset until 8, 12. It stays light until 9 o'clock at night now. So we have a nice long day to enjoy these days. Sun is now rising as you saw there at 5.59 a.m. Zero in Key Lake right now. The cool air in the north is going to slide south as we head through the day tomorrow. 17 degrees low this hour in the Battlefords. 18 for leader. They were the hot spot today in the province. They got all the way up to 19 for a daytime high. It's 14 degrees right now in Regina. 12 for Vancouver and we are seeing a system that's gathering itself in Alberta that will swing through our area as we head through the day tomorrow. Another system bringing rain to parts of southern Ontario and cooling them off minus one this hour in St. John's plus one for Halifax. This is the reason why it was so warm today. We had a bit of a ridge over top of us in the upper atmosphere and that's going to kind of go away. We're getting cooler air that's going to try and slide south in the upper atmosphere. What's going on at the surface we'll show you here. High pressure kept us clear and sunny today. This is that cold front dividing us in the south from the cool air in the Arctic and in northern Saskatchewan as well that we just saw there. And this is that system I was talking about that's gathering itself in Alberta that will slide into southwestern Saskatchewan tomorrow. As it does so, it's actually going to stall this cold front right over our area. So we're actually going to see that rain throughout the day. Typically, these fronts would quickly slide through. But because that system moves in, it's going to hold it over our area for a little longer. So when you head out the door tomorrow morning, we'll be dealing with the rain. And then as we head through the afternoon, that front will stall over our area. Area. Noon hour, it'll be wet, and as we head into the early afternoon, it will be as well. I think it'll start advancing forward, though, as we head into the 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock hour. Then into your Saturday, another chance of showers as well. Just uh, light sprinkles, though, and it's your Sunday that we're keeping our close eye on some snow potentially moving into our forecast picture. So watch as this cold air advances through the day tomorrow, and it's going to stick around all weekend. Even into next week, we're going to see the cool temperatures around, and winds will be a little breezy tomorrow afternoon as well from the north. At times tonight, we'll be back to 6 or 5 degrees. Degrees and tomorrow across the north, minus three for a daytime high in the Losh, minus six for Uranium City. Five degrees for the Battlefords, though, and up to seven in Rosetown with a chance of showers throughout the day. May even see a few lightning strikes or thunder showers in the Moose Jaw and Yorkton areas. May see a little bit of wet snow mixing in for Yorkton, or sorry, the Melford area, I should say. In Saskatoon, when you wake up tomorrow morning, it'll be lightly raining around four degrees. That rain will pick up through the morning hours and then it'll ease off. We may only see a slight risk into the four o'clock hour. And as we look ahead to your seven days, forecast. It'll be cool this weekend. Chance of showers later on on Saturday. We may catch some morning sunny breaks on Saturday. Then the snow moves in likely on Sunday. Still a little up in the air as to how much we'll see. We could see up to five centimeters though. A lot of that will likely melt. Then that may linger into Monday. Cool. Barely getting above freezing that day. But we gradually improve as we head through next week in the clouds. So Julie, today unfortunately was our best day in terms of sunshine and heat. So get out and enjoy tonight. All right.